Hey, Drew Class, when I'm looking at an equation that's expanded out like this of one of the conics, I can tell I'm dealing with an ellipse if I have an x that's being squared and a y that's being squared, and they both have the exact same sign. So these are both positive, and the y and x are both being squared. So this is an ellipse, and it would have been the same if they had both been negative. So a negative x squared and a minus 9y squared would have also been an ellipse. Uh, but to be able to find the center, I can't do it in the form that's in now. I'm going to have to complete the square to be able to do this. So to do that, I'm going to group the x's, so x squared and x. I'm going to group the y's, y squared and y, and then I'm going to move this one over to the other side. Now, also when I do this, I like to um, put a space between the x to the first and then the y squared. So I'm going to have a y squared right there, but I have this space so I can complete the square. All right there is a 36y, again a space, and then I'll have equals the negative 1. So the x part's ready to go. I just divide by the, uh, the negative 2 by 2. I get a negative 1, and then I square that. So negative 1 squared is positive 1. So that's what I need to add to complete that square. Now the y part's not ready to go. Here I'm going to factor out a 9. Again, leave a space, and then do the completing of the square here. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then 2 squared is 4. So I'm adding a 4 here, All right? but there's a 9 times 4 is technically what I've added now. 9 times 4 is 36, so I need to add 36 to the right-hand side. So you've got to be careful when you do these. So my completed, the, the form with a completed square is going to be x I have a negative 1 when I divide that negative 2x by, by 2. So a negative 1 squared. Right? And then I have a plus 9. And then this right here in the parentheses, I squared half of 4. That was 2. So I get y plus 2 squared. Right? And that's equal to, on the right-hand side, a positive 36. And so that's what I'm going to divide by to get a 1 over here. I need to get a 1 on the right-hand side. So I divide by 36. Divide by 36. Divide by 36. All right, again, the x part is good to go. 9 over 36 will reduce to a 4 in the bottom. And then 36 divided by 36 is just 1. So I'm just going to write that as 1. So there is the standard form of the ellipse. And now I can see that the center is 1 for x, negative 2 for y. All right, so there's my center. And then it wants to know what is the focus left of center and the focus to the right of the center. All right, so what we have to remember here is for an ellipse, c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. This is a squared. This is b squared. So c squared is equal to 36 minus 4. So c squared is 32. All right, so that means c is the square root of 32. All right, and because 32 is a divisible by 16, which is a perfect square, I can write this as the square root of 16, which is 4, times the square root of 2. All right, that's what I need to add and subtract from the center to get each focus. So again, our center was 1, negative 2, right, which we got on the first part. And then I add to that. Again, that's the bigger denominator, so I'm adding it to x. So I'm going to, to get the left one, I'm going to subtract 1 minus 4 square root of 2. The y coordinate's not changing here because we're just subtracting it from x. And then my right one is going to be adding that number, 1 plus 4 square root of 2. All right, notice it says using radicals as needed, type exact answers. So it wouldn't accept or, uh, allow you to put a decimal in there. So you're going to have to make sure that you can get those exact values for the focus and uh, the left and right focus like that. All right, again, my denominators uh, for the x squared uh, part were, were the larger one. So that means I'm going to go to the left and right by the square root of that denominator. So that bigger denominator was 36. The square root of that is 6. So I'm going to go left and right 6 units. So I basically did the same thing that I'm doing here for the vertices. But instead of adding and subtracting 4 square root of 2, I'm adding and subtracting 6. So negative 1, min or sorry, 1 minus 6 is negative 5. 1 plus 6 is 7. All right, notice for all of these points, the y-coordinate staying negative 2. All right, we, we move away from the center for the focus and the, vert, uh, the vertices, the foci and the vertices, in the same direction. 
so that we're not moving up and down. We're just moving left and right for all of these. All right, and then just graphing it's getting our center right. So we moved right one and down two from the origin. So there's right one, down two. So it could possibly be that one. There's left one up, nope. There's left one down, nope. There's right one up, nope. So it's going to be A. Again, it's just getting your center right for these uh, ellipses a lot of the time.